Good evening, I'm Dr. Akl. I am a practicing physician in Flint. I treat cancer patients. Uh, this evening we'll be talking about lung cancer. Lung cancer is one of the most common cancer affecting men and women and primarily due to the effect of smoking. There is a major association between smoking and lung cancer. Lung cancer is uh, a, a disease uh, quite uh, aggressive uh, unless it is caught early. Uh, unfortunately, there is no screening for lung cancer. Uh, in the past, uh, numerous studies to see whether a yearly chest X-ray for normal individuals uh, hopefully uh, detect lung cancer and uh, treat it early. Uh, unfortunately, that screening did not result in increased survival. The end point of screening is increased survival, meaning you do the test in normal population and if cancer is found, hopefully it is early, so you treat it and that should be superior to the other people who never underwent such test. So uh, unfortunately chest x-ray done every year did not show a good screening test because thousands of patients were studied and uh, resulted in no increased in survival. Uh, nowadays patients present with different symptoms, cough, uh, dry, dry cough or uh, uh, with blood, we call it hemopsis, and uh, uh, those patients uh, will be short of, of breath. Some of them will have symptoms of shortness of breath. Some of them, in addition, will be hoarseness, uh, have hoarseness of the, those voice uh, of their voices. And the reason of, ho of hoarseness, uh, mean, hoarseness meaning their voice is hoarse, uh, and you could hear it. Uh, due to uh, uh, when the tumor in the lung is large, it uh, compress in certain nerves uh, and those nerves get uh, paralyzed. So such nerves uh, help the voice box or the larynx, uh, the mo movement of the vocal cords controlled with those nerves. If those nerves are paralyzed, so one vocal cord will not move and back and forth. So result in hoarseness because one vocal cord is paralyzed, the other vocal cord can't hit right on it, so the uh, voice will come hoarse. So some patient will present with hoarseness, some patient with significant weight loss, shortness of breath, coughing blood, uh, other patients could present with symptoms related to spread of cancer. If the cancer spread to the brain, they will have symptoms related to spread of cancer in the brain. If the cancer spread to the liver, and they will have symptoms related to uh, spread of cancer to the liver. And if it spread to the bone, uh, they will have pain uh, and uh, symptoms related to their cancer, mainly pain. And uh, usually those patients uh, have uh, more symptoms due to the effect of cancer, uh, weight loss, uh, uh, feeling tired. Uh, and in advanced cases of uh, lung cancer, patient uh, will uh, be presenting with uh, a widespread disease. We call it cachectic. 
uh, patients are so skinny, uh, can do anything, and uh, very weak, and the, the cancer, you could palpate it, causing different symptoms and so on. So for today's topic, we will uh, educate uh, our patients uh, how to recognize uh, symptoms uh, which could be lung cancer and they should see their physicians right away. Uh, uh, and uh, you need also to know that not necessarily these symptoms is cancer. They could be uh, flu-like symptoms, there could be other heart-related problems like when patient is short of breath it could be the heart is not bumping right so there is water on the lung or there is what we call it pulmonary edema so not everyone have shortness of breath have cancer uh, also not everyone coughing blood mean cancer because there are many many causes of coughing blood many of those are benign causes uh, and so on. So, uh, the symptoms of coughing blood, uh, you need to be uh, serious about it and uh, you need to see your doctor, but not necessarily the answer is cancer. But a patient will undergo series of investigations. When they see their doctor, their doctor will take some history from them, uh, primarily the smoking history, which is a uh, very important uh, a piece of information because those are smoker uh, usually the physician uh, wanted to rule out cancer and so on so the duration of symptoms uh, the doctor like to know how long you have these symptoms uh, many patients who are smoke for years and years they have they have what we call it COPD chronic chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or emphysema and bronchitis and those patients are short of breath for months and may maybe years and some of them are on oxygen so the duration of symptoms are important we need also to know that significant number of those patients with COPD, D, COPD secondary to smoking uh, could end by lung cancer so it's so important for uh, patients to know they must stop smoking and when smoking those patients stop smoking for five to ten years or so hopefully the risk of cancer will drop significantly to non-smoker especially after 10 years or so uh, so uh, smoking is a major health problem and in today's topic lung cancer major association and causation of lung cancer because of smoking. So once patients recognize those symptoms, they need to go to their uh, doctor. Do their doctor will uh, ask them relevant questions. We call it history. They will ask history of smoking, how long these symptoms are, and so on. Once the doctor finish uh, talking to you about uh, your symptoms, they will do some investigation. They start with some blood work and chest X-ray. Uh, chest X-ray is a quick crude test and uh, it, uh, if it is benign or normal uh, or does not show mass in more than 90% uh, you are okay. Uh, other tests to, to rule out you have cancer, it has to be directed related to symptoms. If the uh, physician do chest x-ray and there is questionable reading or there is a mass uh, and other finding, those patients should undergo CAT scan because CAT scan of the chest or computerized tomography of the chest, that will show better three-dimensional image of the lungs, the mediastinum, where mediastinal nodes are uh, and uh, the diagnosis and the uh, uh, interpretation of what the patient have is very clear. So CAT scan will be uh, of great value to, uh, to rule out uh, masses in the lung and the mediastinum. Uh, or, and if there is masses uh, or any suspicious lump uh, in the... Uh, in